Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks and today I'll be showing you one of my favorite tools, the Pathfinder tool. I use this tool all the time. I think it's really underrated. I never really hear people talking about the Pathfinder tool. So today I'll be showing you the basics of what this tool can do. And then I'll show you how I create a character using the different modes of the Pathfinder tool. All right, so hopping into Illustrator, the Pathfinder tool is usually over here on your right side. If it's not, you can go up to Window, scroll down, and it'll be right here. I personally only use these top four shape modes, and occasionally I use this Divide option. So for today's video, I'll just be showing you how to use these five options. So let's just make a couple circles that overlap with each other. Like this, I'll make this top one blue, and let's just make four more duplicates of that so I can show you each option. Let's just drag the Pathfinder tool out here so it's nice and easy. Whenever you're using the Pathfinder tool, you need to make sure each shape is selected. So let's select these two shapes. And the first option we have is the Unite option. And what that basically does is combines the two shapes into one. And you'll see the blue circle is on top. So when we hit this button, the shape will turn blue like that. Our second option is the minus front. So for this option, whichever shape is on top of the other, so in this case the blue is on top of the red, the blue will be subtracted from the red and we'll just be left with what's showing of the red shape. So we'll select both of these, hit minus front, and now we just have that shape right there. The third option and the one I use probably the most is intersect. And just like the name says, what this option does is whatever is intersecting between the two shapes, that's what the new shape will be. So we'll select those two, hit intersect, and again, the new shape will take on the color of whichever shape is on top. And the last of the four shape modes is exclude, and that does the opposite of what intersect does. So let's select these, hit exclude, and now we have this gap right here. What's cool about this option is it'll create two shapes, so it'll be grouped together as soon as you hit that, but if we command shift G to ungroup, and we can drag these apart, and I have two shapes. And our last option is divide. This is basically a combination of exclude and intersect. So let's select these and hit divide and let's ungroup and you'll see we have all three pieces now. So those are the basics of what the Pathfinder can do. Now I'll show you how you can create a character using the different options. So like always, let's just start off with a head like this. For the eyes, we'll do a circle like this. Drag it right about there. Copy and paste in place a new circle on top. You can shrink it down and we're gonna give this guy some green eyes. So we'll copy and paste again, shrink that down, and this will be the pupil, so we'll make that black. And for our first use of the Pathfinder tool, we're gonna use the minus front. So let's copy and paste this white circle again, one more time on top, and we'll draw a square over the bottom half, and select both of those, and then we'll hit minus front, and let's turn that half circle into blue, and now we have the eyelid. We can zoom in and give him a little reflection on his eye like this, and then we'll add a rectangle right here on the bottom of the eyelid. Curve out those edges, add a point right here and right here, one more right there, delete that, and now we have an eyelid. So let's just select all of that, deselect the head, and we can group the eye together drag it over this way. Okay, cool, so now we have the eyes, let's do the mouth next. So we'll just create a rectangle like this, and we can round those corners out and we can make it black. Zoom in, and we're gonna draw a tongue right on top of the mouth. So before we draw the tongue, let's copy and place in place a new mouth on top. So now we have two shapes in the same spot. We're gonna use this second shape to basically crop out the tongue using the Pathfinder. So let's draw a shape out like this for the tongue. And we can just loop it around like that. Select the red shape and then our second mouth shape and we will hit intersect. Let's add a little line like that. Group those together. So now we have a tongue. Up next I'll show you how we can utilize the unite option. So let's grab our yellow. We're gonna make a little mustache right here. So let's do a yellow circle right here. Drag one over this way and then Command D, Command D. And we go to center this. And let's just take this one and this one and shrink them down 
in height. So they're about that tall. And then let's select all four yellow circles and hit Unite. And there's our mustache. We can resize that now. Make sure it's centered on the mouth. Next we'll give him a nose, so let's just draw a little curve like this. Another one like that. And we'll drag this one over and Option, Transform, Reflect. Let's give him some ears now so we can do another circle. Send it to back. With the pencil tool, we'll draw a little curve like that and then a shape up like this. And let's give this shape a little bit of a darker color. We can group these three together. Send back again and bring this one to the front. Let's give that a little rotation. If that looks good, let's drag it over here for the left ear, transform, reflect, okay. All right, next we got some eyebrows, so let's curve out a line like that, give it some angles. That looks good, and we can copy and paste it over here. And again, we'll transform, reflect. We'll bring this one up just a little bit higher to give it a little bit of character, like that. Right there is good. All right, and last thing we'll do is just add some hair. So we'll just do another big circle like this, send that to the back, and we can go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Zigzag. So we can change the options up a little bit. Let's make the size a little bit smaller, and ridges per segment will go up to 10. Smooth it out. Let's bring the size down to five. And that looks good. All right, and let's just grab this point right here on the head and we can drag it down a little bit to make it a little bit more natural looking. All right, and that's a cool, quick little character that we made. We use the Unite option for the mustache where we combine the four circles together. We use the minus front to create the eyelid and we use the intersect option to create the shape of the tongue. Like I said before, I personally don't use the exclude option very much and I only occasionally use the divide option, but I'm sure you guys can find plenty of ways to put these different options to use. If this was helpful for you guys, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.